Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Newey St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8th, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. I was asked, why should the African student study mathematics? Mathematics is more than memorizing the times table of arithmetic. Mathematics is more than learning how to solve the quadratic equation of algebra. The African student must study mathematics because it's a subject that nurtures critical thinking. Critical thinking, in turn, is the most undervalued experience in education. This lack of critical thinking skill explains why a 13-year-old Northern Nigerian that did not learn geometry proofs is easily convinced by Boko Haram jihadists to strap herself with a suicide bomb. To dig deeper into the quadratic equation of algebra and to be reflective of how the partial differential equation of calculus enables Nigeria to discover and recover otherwise unforeseeable crude oil and natural gas demands a significant time for reflection and thought. My passion for performing the fastest calculations began in early 1964. I was then a nine-year-old in Abo, Midwest region, Nigeria. Each late afternoon, I practiced solving 60 to 100 arithmetical problems and solving them within 60 minutes. I was practicing for the all-important 1965 Common Entrance Examination into King's College, Lagos, Nigeria. At that time, King's College was the most elite secondary school in Nigeria. The entrance examination into Nigerian secondary schools was akin to American scholastic aptitude test that was at the level of a 12-year-old. That entrance examination consisted of two parts, a set of 60 questions on the English language and another set of 60 problems on arithmetic. Each problem must be solved within 60 minutes. For the 20 month, Onward of January 1964, and in the late afternoons, and in the evening, and in the living room of our three-bedroom house, my father drilled me with 60 increasingly challenging arithmetic problems. I used a stop clock that stops at the 60th minute with daily practice for the forthcoming entrance examination the questions on mathematics became easier than those on the english language at the all nigeria federal entrance examination i selected the faraway all boys boarding school king's college lagos as my first choice i was confident that i scored 100 percent in the mathematics portion of that entrance examination because I had been rehearsing for that entrance examination and practicing it almost daily for nearly two years. I was able to finish the 60 minute test in 10 minutes. At the practice sessions, I only scored above about 90% in the English language portion of that entrance examination. So my total score of 190 was not 
high enough to get me an admission into the very competitive King's College, Lagos, Nigeria. My failure in 1965 to get into the most sought after secondary school in Nigeria was a big blow to my father's ego and to mine. At age 10, my confidence in my mathematical ability was supreme. That confidence stayed with me and I was not afraid to tackle previously unsolved mathematical problems such as solving initial boundary value problems of mathematical physics and solving them for the first time and across a new internet that is a new global network of processors each akin to a tiny computer that we are identical to each other and that shared nothing between each other and that we are tightly coupled to each other i was confident because i was identified as very talented in mathematics and as, as someone that will shine in the field of mathematics Back in early 1965, at age 10, at St. John's Primary School, out Boji Boji, Abo, Midwest Region, Nigeria, my school headmaster, Mr. Okochime, would not have been surprised if he was told that a quarter of a century later that I will be the cover story of the top mathematics publication, namely the May 1990 issue of the Siam News that is published as the as the news journal of the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. Insightful and brilliant lecture.